Oh my god, we may have just found the greatest youth academy player I've ever seen in FIFA 22 career mode, Iñaki Palacios, aged 13. That's probably because the realism mod, 70 to 96 potential. Wow, he could be our very own version of Messi. I know he's Spanish, but he's left-footed. This kid could be something special. You know what? Straight up signing him up. He starts at a 58 overall at the age of 13. We can promote him to the senior team. What? I think we can. I'm, I'm confused. I think if I press X here, it might just say I can't promote him, but I don't know. I don't want to play with it just yet. Um, We're going to wait. We're going to just chuck a development plan on him. He looks insane. 58 at the age of 13. Wow. Okay. Development plan on him. Just, I'm going to keep you all up to date with his progress. We may have just found a gem. What a way to start the episode. Youth Academy drama. Didn't expect to find a 13-year-old prodigy, but unbelievable he's one for the future for this club very excited to see how that progresses big episode today more games in la liga transfer stuff and everything if you're enjoying the series you all know what to do drop a like subscribe if you're around here and let's get into today's episode straight up getting into a press conference to get into the swing of things put galardo at cdm and fabregas at sentiment I don't know if it's Gallardo or Gallardo. We'll say Gallardo, I guess. He's got better defending physicality and pace. Fabregas will be your playmaker with great passing. You know what? That might not be a bad suggestion because look at this. We put Gallardo there. It just works. But like, I love having Gallardo running forward and attacking that I just don't want to use him at CDM. We'll try this out for a couple of games and see what's up. Next up, Navarro is so underrated. I know he misses a lot of chances, but he's also gone up by two ratings. You know what, guys? I couldn't agree more. If Cesar Navarro can improve his finishing, he's going to be decent. Four assists and three goals in 12 games. He's unreal. Worthy of wearing our number 10. And finally, it's about the, the cult hero of this series. I think it's obvious. Javier Pressa is that man. I honestly think Pressa will be more of a hero than Oliver Bryan. He's just carrying this team. And maybe he can take this team to even European football. What do you think? Honestly, it's also got to do with the fact that Javier Pressa is just a lot better. Oliver Bryan was limited with his stats, but Javier Pressa isn't. He is very, very dominant in game. Like, his stats are perfect for a center forward. He's got the pace. He's got the finishing. Enjoying using him. And I'm, I'm feeling he's just going to keep getting better for us. It was honestly so difficult to choose player of the episode because it was between, you know, a defender and Pressa who was just unreal. But I'm going to go with Casas for this one. We kept so many clean sheets. We were so solid at the back for me. It's got to be Casas. I didn't expect to get a top tier of talent like Iñaki Palacios already. Like, honestly, wow. He's got a couple of traits as well. But okay, this guy that we've got here, he's not 13. He is not 13. Look at him, man. He, he looks like he's he's like he's having a midlife crisis with that ponytail. Yo, he, he's not 13. Anyways, Jacob Alonso is another good player I found from the scouting. Gonna put a goalkeeper plan on him. I think we can make him a good backup option in a couple of seasons. Love to see the academy finally fill out. As you guys know, apart from that last episode, we also got rid of Sebastian Lopez, which means now we're on the hunt, not just for a CDM, but also a left winger. We'll get like 10 million for him. We'll have a bit of money. So in January, we need to do business. We need a left winger and a CDM. CDM. Keep them suggestions coming. You know what, guys? Twitter was super helpful with this. I asked for some CDM suggestions, and look what we have here. Oh, we've got we've got Javier Pressa suggesting us design Oliver Skip. Wow. Okay. I don't send to forward wants this guy. Okay, he backs him. I'm seeing Sandro Tonali a lot, but guys. Let's be real, we can't afford him. Honestly, Oliver Skip is a popular one, guys. We might need to scout him. Let's see, Oliver Skip. We kind of messed up with the Fabregas signing because I really want a better CDM in there. Uh, but anyways, Oliver Skip. Let's scout him and just see what's up. Him in that CDM role, I think, would be unreal. But let's see. Let's see what his overall is, valuation and everything is. Talk about CDMs. Uh, we've got an offer for Schmidt. 
32 year old it's it's barely anything you know what i kind of want to accept it let's try and ask for more money let's delegate it couldn't reject this for cabrera for sure but if we sell schmidt let's get the extra money and just get that cdm in january in other news we're ninth in la liga y'all know what happened we got some good results but the big one was that barca game where at the death we conceded it was heartbreaking you know what roll the clip of the painful event that happened towards the end of the game oh my god this long ball fc tactics from barcelona is not looking good i can't believe unai simon what have you done unai simon again i called him out because that was the right thing to do he just had to kick the ball away I prefer really not to um, not to speak yeah it was sad we deserve to win that game but oh well we will we'll keep pushing guys we'll keep pushing in this episode we've got some big games and well the first one is against athletic bilbao they're never an easy team to play they always make life super difficult for you san mames is where we're visiting in terms of our team gonna give fabregas a bit of a rest and play cortez in that midfield so we've got cortez gallardo playing in cdm or do i play cortez there i think i could do that because i want gallardo playing the attacking role man i really do so for this game this is what we'll do that's the rest of the team gonna keep playing galvan guys because i feel like if lopez is being sold might as well keep using galvan to get his overall up that's the team let's win this Oh, by the way, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we're now uploading videos on YouTube in 1440p. So if you guys are watching this and if you've guys got internet plans that allow you guys to watch um, at 1440p, why not, man? Why not? It, the quality is so much better. And yeah, it's it's a big upgrade, I feel. I think the videos look a lot better. Well, enough Bruh. of all that right now. Yuri Berchiche, you just ran the ball out. Like, the man was running just in a straight line with no other intention of moving i don't know what he was doing here's galvan one thing i've realized with galvan is that he has a very good relationship with cabrera so yeah hopefully a bit of that in this game iñaki williams is going to be a nightmare to play against that pace man honestly right now though athletic bilbao with a chance here inside for so beach one difficult for us cabrera can't keep up chance for them they're just passing it round. i think i even commit to a shot we don't allow them to. They, they just got to maybe shoot sometimes. Possession with Berenguer and now they might get that shot. Nope. Casas. I played the episode from this one. Stops them from doing anything. Oh, we've given the ball away to Garcia. Casas is unreal. Look at him. It's like a one-man defense we've got there. Unbelievable. Can we, like, touch the ball? Like, like please. Uh, touch the ball challenge. It's it's not working. We, we really can't get anywhere near the ball. And Athletic Bilbao, are, are they sure they're, they're trying to score here? Are they just toying with us? I don't know what they're doing. Like, they're running towards our box and then passing it backwards. There we go with Gallardo. And now we're on the front foot. Gallardo looking for that pass for Navarro. It's decent. Yuri Berchiche was there. Yeah, it's another chance for them this time in Yaki Williams. And Athletic Bilbao don't disappoint. They're just ruthless, man. This has been probably the most difficult team we've faced. And we've played Barcelona, by the way. Athletic Bilbao have just been relentless. The pressure is unbelievable. And at San Mames, we're really taking a beating. It's 1-0 already. I remember one of the press conference questions, you know, saying uh, about Javier Presa firing us to a European position. I still think we're far off that, man. This season's all about maybe getting a top half finish. European football, I don't really think so, man. I don't think we've got it in us, at least for now. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Another chance for them. Look at the passing from them. Unai Simon this time with the save. But in this first half, we've done nothing. Okay, this first half was absolutely tragic. I feel like my midfield was non-existent in this game. Second half, we need to be better. Oh, look at the state of that. An XG is zero. An XG of zero. That's embarrassing. Wow, 37% possession as well. Yo, I'm bringing off Cortez. I think we need a bit of Fabregas in here. Not Lopez. Uh, we'll put Fabregas there. Let's try out Gallardo in, in CDM and just see how this works. Okay, Navarro, very well done as he looks for that early cross, but nobody was attacking it. It falls for Gallardo from distance. I'm taking it. Just wanted to test out the keeper. Gallardo's long shots are very decent, so it was worth going for it. Oh, we're again on the back foot here, which isn't fun at all. Cross comes in. Tomiyasu can't win the header, but he put Onai Simon, uh, not Onai Simon, he put Inyaki Williams off balance. Gavi's got a bit of space to work with. Let's see what he can do. Well, there's no space there. Oh, Inyaki Williams is just going to use that pace. I'm going to try and cover him off from this angle and see what we can do. He's so freaking quick. 
Already scored once in this game. He tried to do Casas dirty but couldn't. And we finally get the ball away with Alonso. Iñaki Williams again. He's got that pace. Nope. Tries to go for goal there but didn't work for him. Oh, here we go. There's space. Somehow there's space. This pressure from Athletic Bilbao is backfired. They committed way too many players forward. It's a cheeky chip from Javier Presa. He has done it again. That's the second time and he shoshes Athletic Bilbao. Oh my god. I was talking about potentially not getting a Europa League spot. But if Presa does this... It might just happen. Javier Presa is on another planet right now. Oh my god. The cheekiness to pull that off. Unbelievable. Wow, what a finish. It was it was just beautiful. What a chip from Javier Presa. It's become his thing now. That's the second time. And look at that for a celebration. Wow, what a player he is. Javier Presa is the man. And out of nowhere, we've managed to get a goal in this game. It's 1-1. Not gonna lie, guys, bringing Fabregas on has really helped because he's been commanding that midfield very smartly, something we just couldn't do in that first half. He's, he's brought that into this game. Athletic Bilbao's pressure is scary, guys. Like, honestly, they're moving the ball around so well. Chance for Nyaki Williams. Unai Simon steps up big time. What a save. Oh, we might have one attack in this game. Right now, let's see. It's, it's Gavi. Well, he gets bullied right there, but Gallardo wins it back, and we go here. For one last chance, Cesc Fabregas here. I'm waiting for some support. Galvan providing it. Nah, he just couldn't beat his man. I think that's going to be it for this one. A one-all draw. I feel like we've robbed Athletic Bilbao here. We don't deserve this. But Javier Presa created something out of nothing. Looks like we have agreed a deal on Nathan Schmidt. 770,000. That's fine. We need a new CDM anyway. So I'm just accepting it. Give me the cash. Let's free up some wages and bring in better players. Oh, would you look at this? Javier Presa. It's been going really well for us recently. You know how happy I am playing for you and playing for this club. I just wondered if this might be a good time for us to talk about renewing my contract. I'd like to know where I stand. You know what? You know what? Let's look at that now. It's time. He just scored a wonder goal to get us a point. Javier Presa is the man of this team. He deserves a long-term contract. Contract expiring in eight months now, nah, man. I want to tie him down for at least the next three seasons if he's willing to agree with that. He wants a crucial squad role. Obviously, we're going to accept that. Perfect. How many years? I want to give him three years. Is he going to accept it? He is. Let's go. We're going to renew Javier Presa up until the age of 33. No release clause works well for me. And in terms of wages, what are his demands? He's not demanding anything, but I think he deserves a wage bump. We'll give him 90,000, but no signing bonus. Let's just increase his base wages. And is he willing to accept that? He is. Javier Presa renews with S2G Club the football. And yeah, our main man has committed to this club for another three seasons. We still have a fair few players to renew, guys. We'll get on it soon. We keep the grind going in at La Liga as we take on 11th place at Tafe. This will be a good chance to get three points on board and just push forward. We're going to play this. Going to use Fabregas in that central midfield role along with Gallardo playing CDM. And let's see how that works. Also, we're going to still keep playing Galvan, man. No point playing Lopez when we've sold him already. By the way, it's an opportunity to use the away kits as well, which I absolutely love. Let's go. You know, this is the kind of game where I feel we really need to put in a good performance, man. I think we're equal teams. We may be a bit better in terms of form and slightly in terms of quality, I guess. So... Yeah, I want to put in a good performance. I want to get some goals. Oh, that's a risky one. I'm going sliding in and he's completely done me here. Silva is through. Chance for Hetafe. We're going to have to deal with this. And they just decided to turn back and then cross. And that, you know, helped us recoup a bit of time. And we can just get the ball away now. We, yeah, we can. Here we go with Cabrera. We know he's quick. We know he loves making those kind of runs. We're going for a cross. Far post. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Riado playing in that CDM role. More responsibility for our captain, but he can't be making mistakes like that because they could be costly as they look to be right now. NS Unal on the charger. Looking inside for Maximovic. Goes for goal. That shot goes wide. Fabregas <clears throat> getting taken out there. What an ugly challenge from Carlos Elena. And it's a red card. Carlos Elena, former Barca player, getting sent off. That's, that's a gift for us. We need to make the most of it. Let's go. Sent off Alenia in the first half itself. We're going to be playing 
70 odd minutes of football against the 10 men Hetafe side. We know they're aggressive. We know they've got a challenge like that in them. They've done that and they're trying to do that again to Fabregas. Have they lost their minds? Fabregas' delivery is looking decent. The header is straight towards David Soria. Okay, I don't know why we're not playing well right now. And they've got a chance. Who nice Simon with a big save. But so far in this game, even with the red card, Hetafe are looking competitive. And they could even have a chance to score here. NS Unal couldn't generate any power. Arambadi going for goal. That's another big save from Unai Simon. Hetafe looking the better team, even with a man down. Okay, now this is where the game could change. Javier Presa, he somehow gets lucky and can keep attacking. But what's he doing there? The attack is kind of dead. Not really. Gavi is bringing it forward. Looking for Navarro out wide. There's literally no one in the box though. We're going to have to figure something out here. Navarro with a good run. Still Navarro. Looking for Presa here. Trying to turn his man but can't. We're just playing really poor in this game. I still can't figure out how this is nil-nil. We we've been awful. NS Unal, he's done me there. He's done me. Unai Simon has put in an unbelievable performance. I don't know how he's doing it. But he's keeping us in this game. We just can't seem to figure out how to attack. Here we go. Javier Presa. And now I think we can maybe open things up here. Back heel for Tomiyasu. I see Gavi now. Go on. Gavi's on the turn. Looking for that pass for Navarro. But we just can't seem to break them down. They've actually got a chance here to score. We're not going to allow it of course. But man is it disappointing that we haven't scored yet. Here we go now with Presa. There's space for us to attack. I see Galvan out wide. What can he do? Looks back inside. Come on, that's awful. I think defensively we're covered in this game, so we're, we're not going to end up losing. But yeah, on the offense, I don't know why. I just feel like we don't have enough numbers going forward. It's, it's really frustrating, to be honest. And I think I found the reason. Fabregas in an attacking role is not clicking. We're going to sub him off in this game, play Schmidt. But yeah, Fabregas as, as a left sentiment, if you need to attack, is tough because he can't cover that much ground. Oh, that turn from Fabregas, though, was, was classic from him. And he'll be gone, the attack. He's struggling to keep up, but he's still going. Still says Fabregas. Looking for passing options. We're going backwards. Cabrera. Gallardo. She's Presa. And then we lose the ball. Oh, problems here. They might have a chance to score. Gavi saves us. And we just clear the ball away. I don't know which team is playing with a man down right now. Honestly, I have no idea. Because it's clearly not them. Because we just can't seem to do anything in this game. This is what I'm talking about. Gallardo just makes those runs. And now here's Galvan at the dead of the game. We could do something here. That's awful from Galvan in all honesty. We might still have one last chance here. No, we don't. I cannot believe we played a game with a man up for almost 70 minutes. And we couldn't score. This was embarrassing. These results, man, are going to end up costing us. We're getting too many draws. And the fact that our next game is against... League leaders and unbeaten Atletico Madrid. <sighs> that's that's going to be tough. In other news, the Schmidt deal is broken down, which is surprising. But we do have a scout report on Oliver Skip. I'm, I'm eager to see this. Oh, he's, he's going to be a bit too expensive. About 19 million it'll cost us to get him. I think we'll have to make a decision. Do we get a CDM or do we get a left winger? And it's going to be a tough, tough decision to make. But Oliver Skip, if we want to sign him, we can do it. And he looks decent, man. 77 rated, 21 years old. He'll be in the team for years to come. I think I'm back to playing Fabregas in CDM. It's just smart to do that because I need Gallardo's, you know, just aggression, his work rate in, in, in that box-to-box -box midfield role. We're going to also play Lopez because Galvan's been, you know what? We'll play Galvan. He, he's getting a plus one on his rating finally. Maybe that'll make him a bit better. We'll do that. That's going to be the team we rock against Atletico Madrid. Luis Suarez is going to be visiting our stadium. Griezmann as well. Is that Eden Hazard or Thorgan Hazard? I'm not sure. We'll find out soon enough. But let's go. One of our biggest challenges of the season. Let's do this, man. Last episode, we held Barcelona to a draw. What are we going to do in this one? And that's Togan Hazard. Yeah, I, I thought for a second. Eden Hazard moving to Atletico. That would be a bit weird. Galvan, he did well to get away from that challenge. Looks for Presa. Oh, wow. That was a strong challenge. Fabregas now. Looking for Navarro if he can turn his man. Still Navarro. Oh, it's Gavi, actually. What's Gavi doing there? Presa. Gallardo. I see that space Galvan is making. Come on. This is good. 
Early cross option for Navarro. If he can win the header, nah, he couldn't. Oof, okay, that's a good ball. But Tomiyasu, wow, he, he just clattered him. Javier Pressa getting away from his man. This is positive. As he looks for that pass for Gallardo, he's got space here. Here he goes, Gallardo with a chance. Gonna go for the driven shot. It's straight towards Jan Black. But that was a chance. We're holding our own against Atleti and creating chances. Rodrigo de Paul, that's good defending from Casas. Once again in this episode, our defense has been on point. Luis Suarez though. Marcus Llorente now. Cut back is in. Unai Simon had to read it. Hogan Hazard. Luis Suarez now. This is a bit scary. But Casas does very well. Griezmann. Luis Suarez now. Out wide. For Yannick Carrasco. Koke. It's good defending from Gav. He gets taken out there. Naughty challenge. From Koke gets a booking for that. Navarro. As he presses. Making the run. Presses through. What a chance this could be. Javier Pressa Goes for goal. And oh. Jan Oblak again. It's not going to be easy. Getting the better of Oblak. Couple of chances we've had. And he's come out on top both times. Oh no no no. Rodrigo de Paul is through. Unai Simon is pushing forward. He makes the save. But the rebound falls for de Paul. And there you go. That's a massive L we've taken. Rodrigo de Paul getting in behind the defence. Ah, frustrating. Very frustrating. I feel we've been hard done by because we had the better chances and they scored off that. Well, we have made comebacks before. We're going to have to try doing that all over again. Here goes Galvan beating one. This is nice. Ball for Javier Pressa. Jimenez had it covered. Fabregas wins that though. And Gallardo with a chance. Oh, Fabregas still has it. Looks for Gavi. Tomiyasu. Going to fire this one for Pressa. On the turn. Left foot. Javier Pressa almost just did that. <sighs> On another day, I think that would have gone in. Let's look at how close it was. Javier Pressa. Oh my lord, was that close. Gavi. Pressa again. You know what? There's a bit of space to maybe go for a long shot. <sighs> Jan Oblak is up for it. Okay, we we're pressing them really aggressively. But it's half time. So, second half. We've got our work cut out. Here we go. Gallardo has done very well there. Gallardo has done very well. Goes for goal. Strikes it well. Oblak fumbles it. It's chaos. Oblak forced to clear. We're getting better and better, man. We just need to find that moment that maybe just gives us the goal or just gives us an opportunity to get that goal. But on the other end of the pitch, it's Yannick Carrasco now running at us. But Alonso does very well as we get away from the dangerous position. Look at the runs Gallardo makes. He's always looking to get forward. And that's why I love having him in that midfield but right now it's Pressa but oh, even he can't get past this Atleti defense Luis Suarez Antoine Griezmann looking for that pass we struggling here Griezmann goes for goal falls for Marcus Llorente strikes it Unai Simon saves here we go with Pressa right now well I see that space Gavi's making the run but that pass he was never getting there but well, we're trying to put the pressure on them and it's kind of working here's Navarro I see options <laughs> he just got taken out there referee Yellow card for Mario Hermoso. 27 yards. Pressa. Is he our best free kick taker? Nah, it's Fabregas. Gonna have to take this one with Fabregas. I'm still gonna go for goal. Because you just never know, man. Sometimes these might just work out well. It's the side netting. Here we go now with Navarro. I see Gallardo making a run. He could be through here. He could be through if he can find the defenders. Gallardo goes for goal. What a finish. Let's go, guys. It's our captain who fires us with an equalizer in the 86th minute out of nowhere. I don't know where this attack came from. Gallardo just made a bombing run through the middle. Who supplied that ball to him? I'm confused. And of course, we managed to get the equalizer. It was it was Navarro with the assist. And look at that for a strike from Gallardo. Smashed it in. Let's go, boys. We get something out of this. Five more minutes to hang on to. But this could be massive. This is becoming a team for Gallardo. Makes those runs from deep. Gets the ball. Runs in behind and just smashes the ball home. Our captain... Gets us the equalizer. And let's hope it can mean something. Come on. I think the referee's going to give us that one extra chance. The referee's going to give us that one extra chance. Pressa takes it. Deflection and it's in. I can't believe it. In the 93rd minute, we've won it. Oh my god. I can't believe this. The deflection of dreams. How on earth have we won this game? Yo, this is the kind of stuff that happens to me in FIFA. It's happening to the AI now. What an earth just happened. Presser just went for goal. Hoping for a bit of luck. It hit Savage and went in. Yo, the luck here. I don't think that was going to be going in. I think Oblak would have saved it. 
he was looking that way as well. The deflection has just gifted us three points against Atletico Madrid and that's Presa's 10th goal in La Liga. Unbelievable. And that was literally the final kick of the game. The referee should have probably blown the whistle earlier. We've robbed Atletico Madrid, I feel. But in a way, I think we deserve this as well. What a performance. It's their first L of the season and it comes against us. Gallardo was unreal in this episode. Not surprised offers are coming in from Everton and all, but nah, he's not going anywhere. So is Casas. Nah, so is Cabrera. They're all key players of the team. In other news, we're going to be simulating our next La Liga game against Elche. They're bottom of La Liga. Surely we're going to get a win out of this. Only a draw. You're kidding me. Who scored for us? Gallardo. And it's a draw against Granada as well. Oh. Guys, like, well, we got a red card. Gavi is sent off, has been sent off. That means he'll miss the game against Real Madrid. Wow. Well, we end off the episode 9th in La Liga, but next episode, as you would have seen, we play Real Madrid, who are third in La Liga themselves. It's a trip to the Santiago Bernabeu for us. And that's going to be epic. We've got some contract stuff to do in the next episode, which we will get to. Plus, transfer window should be open. We've been making tremendous progress in the series. And we will be in the trans window. So signings will happen. Left wing suggestions, I need them. CDM suggestions, I need them. Keep them coming. Play of the episode's a bit of a tough one, I guess. Because actually, mm, oh, it's such a tough one. Because it was an episode where we didn't really play all that well. We got a couple of draws to win. To be fair, that's actually very decent. Probably leaning towards Gallardo for that fantastic goal against Atletico. For now though, boys, this is where we're ending off the episode. So much to look forward to in the next one. If you're enjoying this series, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.